Hey, all right. So I have got a whole blumble or a flop. I've got a lot. I've got a big blob of <laughs> these. That's definitely what they're called on mass. These are the current promotional thing from Woolworths here in Australia. If you spend thirty dollars, you get one of these little bags, which are bricks. They're brick themed and they're farm brick themed. So of course I was going to be excited about this. So I you know, bribed my neighbours and my friends and my family to give me all of their bags so that I could open them here. We could see what we could put together. So they've used recycled materials to make these. I don't know. I mean, they're all compatible with Lego. I do want to expand, like make my own custom Lego farm. I don't know whether these are going to make it into it, but I do have a lot of bags and I want to see what's inside them because there's nothing better than a surprise. So let's open them up. Let's open them up. Let's open them up and see what... Ooh, how this all works. So this is like a thing of nightmares. What on earth is this? Okay, so this is, oh, a scarecrow. Yeah, that is kind of a thing of nightmares, right? Sca well, for crows, technically. But yeah, scarecrows can be pretty unnerving, especially when they've got ears. That's adorable. I think all Lego minifigures should have ears. I <laughs> Okay, cool. I don't know why I got so excited about ears. Right, so we've got our scarecrow. We've got to put these stickers on to make the uh, front and the back elements. So that's cute. You can see there's a little bit of straw poking out the front there on the top of that sticker. And this bit here is the back. Yeah, I mean, that makes logical sense, right? And then we've got these interesting lumps to go on the sides. They kind of like, they're like tree stumps, but put on their side and straw colored. This would be a cool addition to Lego actually, but they need a hole on the bottom as well as on the top. Anyway, so our little scarecrow dude's got his hat. He's slightly less unnerving now that he's got all of his bits together. Let's find out what's in the next bag. So we got a scarecrow. We've got no crops for him to currently keep an eye on, but this is our first crop for our our Woolworths version farm. We've got a green, so strawberry bush. This is a very big strawberry bush. It's almost like Duplo sized this. So we've got some kind of washed out red little bits to pop on here for the strawberries. Everything, all the colors in these are muted, kind of muted. So that might be part of a recycled brick thing. I don't know, honestly, I have no idea how all this stuff goes together. So we've got a strawberry bush, nice. Something for the for the scarecrow to look after. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, we got a little man. We got a little mini figure, which is a different figure to the Lego versions, a fruit and veg buyer. So this guy's also got ears. I should have remembered this from the previous Woolworths promotional brick thing because uh, the little minifigures in that one, the shop where you could actually make a Woolworths with all of the groceries and everything, they had ears too. <laughs> and yet I forget so quickly. Let's see if I can get his arms in. Come on. We got, I oh, can't get it in with my left hand. I think my left hand might be weaker than my right hand. Let's try it with a, yeah, okay. So right, th the right thumb prevails. Got his little blue pants on and he gets an orange hat as well, a little cap. So he's a Woolworths, he's a Woolworths Buyer. So he's coming to the farm to buy the produce for Woolworths, for Woolworths, yeah, for Woolworths shelves. That's really cute. Right, next one. Okay, so we've got, ooh, it's a crate. It's a crate with some potato crate. It's a wow. The potato crop this year has been a bit scarce, a bit light on. We only got three taties out of the whole crop. All right, we'll pop them in here and hope we get some more potatoes in another bag so we can fill out this crate. But we do have stickers to put on all the sides. And this is, yeah, this is like using the Woolworths font. These are definitely heading off to Woolies to pop on the shelves. <laughs> Re-advertising. Good work, Woolworths. It's a little Woolies logo. And one for the short side, the other short side too. Cute. I hope these crates are stackable. If we get more of them, surely they are. I mean, they've got little notches on the top, so that would make sense. Let's see what's in the next one. What do we have next? I want some more produce. Oh, some more produce. This is broccoli. Everybody's favorite. Mmm, it's nothing like oversteamed broccoli. My favorite. So this goes into here. These are cute little molds. So we've got the head of the broccoli and the little leafy bit too, and it's so much easier if we just put these together first and then try and put them between the little studs. Broccolis! We got two broccolis! Is the plural broccoli broccolis? I don't think it is. I think the plural of blo I can't even say it. Plurals of block. No, I'm giving up. Stop. I'm having a look at the next one. Okay, bread. Bread. Bread? Do we grow bread on the farm? Look, here's the bread I freshly grew on the farm. Let's put these bits together. These are more breads? Are these like slices of bread? No, they're the wheat. Oh, hold on. But you don't go to the shopping center to buy wheat. 
right? You buy flour to make your bread. So these are the bags of wheat or the sacks of wheat before they've been processed into flour. I can't remember what I said before. Did I say flour? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what I actually said and I'm not going back to find out. So we've got a couple, <laughs> a couple of sacks of wheat and obviously once you process that into flour you can use that to make your bread and we've got some bread here ready to go freshly, yeah freshly grown next to the broccoli. Let's pop them over here uh, and oh I wonder if our little dude can hold the bread. He can have it for his noms. Here's his lunch. A fresh cob loaf delicious he can hold it so that's really cute okay next bag some more produce come on oh that's not produce unless produce looks weird these days oh a kookaburra it's a kookaburra on a stand this is a <laughs> okay it's a kookaburra that's cool look i will not i will not complain about having australian animals in a brick form i think that's really <laughs> cute slightly demented but cool he can hang out out there with a the scarecrow the scarecrow is not going to have any effect on the kookaburra anyway not that it matters because the kookaburra is fine with crops because he eats like rodents and small lizards this is a berry crate so this looks like a potatoes except it's berries it's you can tell it's not potatoes because it's a different color they're different colors so we've got fresh berries printed on the side just in case you thought they were blue and red berries just in case. Looks like these are some of our strawberries from our strawberry bush, our extremely oversized strawberry bush, and some blueberries, and you definitely don't stack them all, all the berries in together. But anyway, it's, uh, it's, yeah, we have to suspend our disbelief here. So we'll stick our strawberries in here, and let's just kind of topple this extra blueberry on the top. And yes, our crates are stackable. Nice. Okay, this is, I mean, I'm not getting as much produce as I'd like. Oh, we've got some more bread. We're Growing some more bread out of this one, I think. I mean, we've already got one of these. We'll, we've already seen how that goes together. Let's put that to the side and see what else we have. But I think we've done pretty well to get this far and only have one duplicate so far. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Did I speak too soon? No, this is... <laughs> okay. This is a tomato plant. I do like the mold of this green bit. That's uh, an interesting shape. But it looks like the tomatoes and the, uh, yeah, and the berries are exactly the same. So that's a little bit confusing, but it's fine. I'm not terribly confused. Let's put the tomato plant over here with our broccoli and our oversized strawberry bush and our kookaburra is looking good okay let's find out what's in this bag it's kind of flat this one. Oh, is that a bit no that's a bit oh it's a pink arm body parts are falling out because we've got another body in here which we have to put together this is cute i love all the pink it's a farmer it's the oh it's the f <laughs> it's the farmer i don't know why i stumbled over that it's a farmer he's got his mustache he's got some ears he's got a couple of arms that we're getting on nice and nice and firmly and his blue pants he's ready to farm when we get his hat on for sun protection i love how he's got long sleeves for extra extra important sun protection and then we put the stickers on to give his clothes some detail a little white undershirt underneath there and this one goes on the back just to show that it's a bit wrinkled because he's been farming hard since 4am this morning. That's really cute. <laughs> Look at him, he's just staring straight into your soul. Let's put him back over here and he can peer at those tomatoes and go, are these tomatoes or strawberries? Let's have a look at the next bag. This one is, it's another crate of stuff ready to go to the shops. It's more potatoes. I think it's potatoes anyway, as long as it's, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something else with exactly the same stuff in it. So let's use, rather than using this crate, let's let's put these potatoes to fill out our pretty sad looking previous potato crate. And yeah, then we can just put this one to the side for later. So we got nice, yeah, that one, that looks a lot fuller now. Next bag, another crate, <gasps> carrots. It's a crate of carrots. I don't know why I got so excited about that. Carrot crate. <laughs> Carrot crate. Uh, so let's get our stickers on the side, just in case we... I hadn't said carrots enough times. It also says carrots on all these two sides of the crate. And then we get our carrots. Let's have a look at these. So they're different configuration to Lego. They've got a little notch on the top. I wonder if that can go into... No. I don't know why I thought that might work. We can stick it, well, we could stick it either way into the holes in the bottom of the crate. We could have them sticking up, but that's insane. You don't store carrots like that. You lie them down flat. We've got a really nice, we've got a really nice selection of crates happening now. What have we got next? This is so, oh, it's just a, it's just a, not even, I'm assuming it's a dog. There's not even in here, some, anything in here to say, this is a dog. Could be a dingo. This is a dingo. Dingo's gonna hang out in here and try and steal the crops because this dingo loves broccoli. 
Yeah, because all dingoes love broccoli. That's 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 true, that is. Don't Google it, I'm totally telling you the truth. Oh, we got some more crops. <gasps> what is it? What are they? Cauliflowers. See, that is the plural of cauliflower. Oh, hold on. Cauliflower. Cauliflowers. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. Maybe I should be Googling stuff. So we got a couple of little cauliflowers here. Yeah, that's correct. That's plural. Is it though? Now I'm, I really, yeah, I don't know. I don't believe anything I say. All right, let's put our cauliflower up here. That feels better. Maybe that's, mm. okay. <laughs> Moving on from the cauliflower, which could be cauliflowers in plural. Some more berries. It's been a bumper season for berries. We're going to have yeah, we're going to have berry jam. There's so many berries. We're going to just move, put more of these in this crate. <laughs> we're going to just shove them in here because berries manage terribly well when you just like pack them, pack them hard into those containers. They travel beautifully. See, there we go. All squished in together. They're going to arrive perfectly at the shops, ready to be sold. Next one, hopefully not more berries because we've run out of room in here. Oh, is this another? We've got another tomato plant. Oh, you can never have enough tomatoes. You can make so much stuff with tomatoes. Hold on, I got three little tomatoes in this one. The other one only gave me two. I feel as though maybe I might have missed the previous one. Or maybe I just got ripped off in the previous one. Or maybe, maybe this plant is just more prolific than the previous tomato plant, which is also, you know, they don't all just pump out a set amount of fruit. So here we go. We got two tomato plants. That's exciting. I like that. And this one is another crate, except this crate is like a beige color, a tan color. It's not a crate. It's a chicken coop. It's a chicken coop, but it doesn't have any chickens. It's just got three eggs. Oh, they're all squished into one mold. That's, that's smart, I think. That's going to keep them all contained. And we've got a couple of stickers here that have got the chickens like fenced in so maybe we've got the choice between free range and and non-free range chickens so maybe just, these are just the different sizes of the chicken coop <laughs> so we got the open bits here this one we can see the eggs and oh, a little chick that's adorable oh the rooster got into the hen house that's not supposed to happen couple more eggs here and then we just put the lid on it the lid on we're probably supposed to put the eggs inside but then I can't see them so I just want to store them outside for now it would be cool if we could get a chicken for the top of this yeah for top of this hen house because that would be really good okay what have we got oh this one's breaking out this one's trying to trying to get free before we even get in there this is a darker green than the tomato plant so we've got another plant it's an avocado tree well color me surprised that's an interesting addition so got a stump here the stump well you know the tree and the little branchy bit better got a bit of foliage on this side this bit goes on the top and then we've got these weird looking lumps which are very very appropriately shaped looking lumps for avocados i mean i 100 percent recognize them as avocados wow okay i would not have expected an avocado tree i like that <laughs> okay what's in the next bag this is funner than christmas it's another it's another minifigure oh and it's a different one again so who's this one this is the beekeeper oh but i don't have a beehive i've only got one bag left after this i hope i get a beehive okay so i'm just checking i didn't put the legs on quite properly onto our fruit and veg buyer so let's get our overalls onto the sticker onto our beekeeper so she's got really cute she's yellow with blue overalls on i like her outfit and her legs are pale blue so she doesn't have a traditional beekeeper's outfit -y kind of thing on in white but that's fine i mean I'm sure they come in all different colors right so actually i'm not sure of anything i don't i know nothing <laughs> i don't know anything except for what the stereotype is so we got a beekeeper but i've only got one more bag and if it's not i don't know what she's gonna do if we don't get her a hive we have not got her a hive she can be in charge of the lettuces because that's what this is this is the lettuce the lettuces so oh, is that the plural of lettuce is lettuce Right, because lettuces sounds absurd. Lettuces. These are very cute though too. Look at those little baby lettuces. <laughs> so we've got lettuce, we got broccoli, we got cauliflower, we got a couple of couple of Tommy Tomato plants, and we've got our eggs in our chicken coop. Got the avocado tree, which I'm quite thrilled with, and the scarecrow, the strawberry bush, which is oversized, a few crates ready to take off to the shop, ready for selling kookaburra on his on his pole there a, <laughs> the dingo dingo likes to eat the broccoli and we got some wheat no 
okay, that's not a bad haul, though. That doesn't look like a whole heap. For all of those bags that I had, they condensed down into not a lot of stuff, and there's only about three things that I pushed up to the side because they were duplicates. All right, so should I keep... Gosh, should I keep collecting the, these? I don't know. I, I do like the produce that I got. I'm wondering how I can integrate this into a farm that I... My future farm that I keep planning to build and need some more time in my day and nights to do. All right, let me know if you're collecting these, if you're here in Australia. And I'm... Yeah, I'm going to just keep an eye on that dingo because I don't want him to take my broccoli. I love my broccoli. Yum. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye.